here's Brody Brazil. You know, high definition was such a game changer for video in the 2000s. I remember seeing HD video for the first time probably in the late 90s and realized instantly that everything that was in standard definition you could almost throw in the trash unless it had sentimental value. Why watch it anymore? Why produce in it anymore? That people were going to quickly get accustomed to HD and never want to go back. And that's interesting from the video perspective because audio-wise, we have not really gone through that same transformation of something that's next, something that is dramatically better. We've been basically listening to the same stereo sound now for decades upon decades. And sure, there have been improvements like surround sound, 5.1, 7.2, Dolby, and DTS. They've all done some pretty impressive things. But what if I told you the biggest breakthrough that you're about to experience in the next couple years? It's coming, but it's also been around since like the 1970s. I'm talking about ambisonics, 3D audio, VR audio, binaural audio. There's a bunch of different names for this, but it is essentially the method of recording with multiple microphones that are spaced out to give you dimension, to hear something how your ears hear it naturally. Now, the trick of all this is that you get the three axes, the X, Y, and Z axes, and it's immersive, and it's a true experience. Like, you really feel as if you are somewhere by hearing these sounds replicated in this fashion. But the trick is, to properly hear this and to really get the effect, you need to wear headphones. So right now, for the rest of this video and everything I'm about to show you, please put on your headphones. If you don't, everything you're about to see and hear, 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 is not going to make sense. So this is one of the next generation microphones. It records ambisonics. It records binaural audio. This is the Rode Soundfield NT-SF1. And you can clearly see it's got four capsules. They're pointing in different directions. And they're trying to capture an ambiance of sound and then process it later. It's the processing, which I'll show you, which truly gives you flexibility. In fact, you can edit this sound spatially after the fact. Imagine taking a photo and it being out of focus, but afterwards you could go back and adjust the focus to get it exactly how you wanted. That's basically what you're able to do with this sound here. This microphone, I like the idea. I've read a lot of great reviews. <laughs> They're out of stock. Uh, I'd really like one. But as you can also see, it goes for $1,000. Okay, check this out. You're about to hear a creak. Make sure you've got your headphones on. Sounds normal, right? What you'd normally expect. But watch this and watch me widen it out. Now watch me place the sound from in front of you, to the right of you, behind you, all 360 degrees around you. And it's not just around you, how about above you and below you? That's crazy, right? I mean, how different you can make something sound, again, just to compare it, and there's a lot of different ways you can alter this, but this is how we're accustomed to hearing water flowing. It's in stereo, but doesn't it sound so much better like this? All right, let me give you another example here. A basketball gymnasium. We'll start wide. Back to narrow, right? More traditional. 
but here's the ambisonics and the binaural audio. You can also change the pickup pattern of these mics, again, after the fact. From cardioid to super cardioid, to more of a circular pattern. We'll go up. And some have better effects than others. You know, I don't hear this one vertically as much. Oh, but again, we're... We were narrow there, weren't we? Let's go wide. There you go. Alright, so that's another example. Let's listen to a football game. Very wide. Back to narrow. Back to wide again. Let's move it around us. Right, so you can really get a sense of what this software, this Sound Field by Rode plugin is capable of. Like I said, half of it is the microphone, which records it in a special way. And then the other half is this after the fact, how you can alter and fine tune your sound exactly how you want it. The last example I have here is from an airport. Very narrow, right? And very flat. Let me start this one from scratch. So let's tilt this one up a bit and go wide. All right, that versus, let's just, let's do this again, narrow. Not much there. That's pretty cool. So that's a sample of the sound field by Rode plugin and the Ambisonics mic that they make. I know Sennheiser also makes a similar product, and I imagine that other companies will be hitting this market pretty soon as well, too. Because like I said, once people start hearing this more, experiencing this more, I can only imagine it's the only thing that they're going to want to listen to. Hope you enjoyed this.